What are we doing here? Waiting for Veronica. How do you know she's in there? It's kind of her homeroom. Oh, hello again. Oh. Hey, what's up? This is my brother, Georgie. He wanted to meet you. Really? Really. I like your hair. Uh, me too. Do you like Guns N' Roses? They're all right. Yeah, they're all right. You smart as your brother? Nobody is. Got an older sister that's kind of a genius. Oh, yeah? Why didn't she tutor you? She's in jail. What'd she do? She sold a pinata full of weed to an undercover cop. Doesn't sound like much of a genius. Oh, I don't know. She graduated high school. I can't believe no one in this town knows who Carl Sagan is. Why even have a TV? Stupid Miss Gifford gave me a banana. Where's Billy? He had to go to the bathroom. So he went home? No, he's right behind that tree. Wait up, guys! Oh, I got a on my cape. Ew. There's nobody in my house. Want to come over? Yes. OK, let's go. What's that? Some stupid haunted house my mother's doing for the church. Let's check it out. I thought we were going to your house. We are. Let's just do this first. Mm, it'll be fun. Pleased to meet you. I go by many names. Satan. My mother's fears that no one would be saved that Halloween night were proven incorrect. As they kissed, she thought about the choices that led her to this moment. Mr. Lundy's scene about lust made a deep impact on my brother's date. The youth was gone. She had traded her beauty for a few tawdry dollars, and now she had nothing left but shame. A venereal disease. She asked to be saved by Jesus. I don't want to live like this anymore. Just repeat after and me. And as it turns out, she was. She went on to live a life devoted to God, feeding the poor, even helping her sister start a literacy program for female prisoners. My brother, on the other hand, became a devout atheist after that night. We got one! <laughs> Yeah.